So we've just beaten Crystal Palace 4 0. I've got Mickey Hazard with me. Mickey, you haven't aged a bit since I saw you last. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm still, I'm still 21. Um, but no, amazing result. In, in, interestingly, I was in the uh, lounge on the East Stand being interviewed by Col Paul Coit with Cliff Jones and, and Clive Allen, and he asked a prediction, and Cliff said 1 1. Yeah. Clive Allen said 2 1 Spurs, and I said 4 0 Spurs. You're joking. No. Um, and incredibly at half time it was 4-0 after the most scintillating first half of football that we've played for a long, long time. Tempo, pace, movement, not just movement, late movement. So we were arriving as the ball arrived rather than being in there waiting. We were arriving as the ball arrived. It was wonderful to watch. And, and obviously at 4-0 they sort of took the foot off the gas um, and could have won 5 or 6, but hey, we'll take 4-0. What was so different about today's game? Because, of course, the, uh, the last home game against Newcastle, very poor performance, not what, you, what, not what we're used to. And then today, first half performance, 4-0. Well, the difference was, obviously, the tempo of our play. The movement was much better timed. You know, if you, don't, if you mistime your movement, you end up getting picked up because you're in too early. If you um, move the ball quickly and then the, the, the late run comes, it's the late run that breaks them down. And then with the quality of the passes, into that late run that, that happened there's goals all day long it's impossible to stop as Crystal Palace found out you can't stop late movement and then the quality of the pass Mickey how do you see Tottenham's season overall going during the 2019-20 the season can we push for the title are we title contenders or is it just top four that we've got to contend with this year well look I'm a bit apprehensive about the season Ed because I'm, I'm last year I was sort of pretty confident we would win all four now I'm just confident <laughs> no, it's gone like, look, it, it, it's difficult to judge so early in the season, but on, it, on the first half evidence today, if we can sustain that tempo, that movement, and the timing of that movement, and the quality of the passing and moving, um, we can beat anybody. Um, anybody, there's, you know, we don't fear anybody when we're playing like that. But it's, it's you know, you've got two great teams, Liverpool and, 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 and um, Man City, and then after that, um, so if we can get to the level we've already played Man City, we're great result, 2-2 drawn, while not at our best. Um, you know, anything's possible with this team, because on the day, and I've said this for three or four years, on our day, we are capable of being the best, being the, beating the best teams in the world. So if it's our day, we can beat anybody. Now, let's talk about domestic cups, because I love uh, Tottenham to take the domestic cup seriously. Now, it's 1991 since Tottenham won the FA Cup, 2008 since we won the League Cup. Is it about time that we took them seriously and actually put a trophy in the cabinet for Pochettino? Well, I'm confident that we take them seriously. I think we've been in a few semi-finals along the way, which means you're sort of taking it seriously. Um, I think that um, sometimes you have to find a stepping stone to, to greater success. Um, you know, and one trophy leads to two and two leads to three, four, etc. So if we can get over the line in no matter what trophy, um, then I'm certain we will go on and win a lot more. And, and obviously... Um, bigger and better so why not start with the, the League Cup the FA Cup make them a target and if we succeed in the Champions League or the, F, uh, or the League then that's brilliant but, but win a cup and that then gives you the confidence and belief to know look I've got over the line we know we can do it let's go do it again now talking of Champions League obviously on uh, next week we play Olympiacos away first group stage game how do you see that going? Spurs win, full stop. Um, not hesitating, you know. Let's not kid ourselves here. We're going, we're going there. We're, we're going there, and we're going to win. It's as simple as that. We're, 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 we're a very, very good side. Today will be um, a big boost to the, the belief and the confidence because of the quality of. It wasn't because we won four 0 yeah. It's because of the quality of the football that we played and the movement, the timing, tempo that we played. The press was much more evident today. We pressed higher up the pitch, won the ball back in their half. They couldn't cope with the press, and consequently they suffered and got, and got smashed. But uh, as I said, it, from the performance of today, not the result, the performance, we go there, and, and, and I, I can see a similar thing if we sustain that high press and that quality of movement. Mickey, love to talk to you again. Pleasure Come as always. Come on, and can I just say this, guys? <clears throat> There's three kinds of people in this world. There's the ones who can't count and the ones who can. <laughs> bye bye. So I'm now with the legend Graham Roberts. Graham, 4 0 win today, how do you feel? Yeah, very good. First half, 
absolutely magnificent. You know, he's always going to save their legs for the second half because of uh, sort of the game on, on Wednesday. You know, got a trip now, but, you know, we have a good squad now. Look on the bench. The bench was unbelievable. Did you expect that result today? Yeah, I thought, I went to, I did a QA and a last night in Brentwood and I said we will kick on now from last night. I said we'll kick on this season from today and we'll get better and better. How do you see Tottenham though? Because obviously we spent some money in the summer. Yeah. Do you actually see us as title contenders or is it just top four again? Well, I think, to be honest, I think the, the top two are a little bit ahead of everybody. But I think, you know, we'll give them a run. Um, what we can't afford to do is lose to the little teams, well, not little teams, but the, the lesser teams. Yeah. Like Newcastle, we, you know, we, I, I, I think with all the hassle that was going on in the club, um, Riccio wasn't happy and I think the players felt that way. When you, ha when you say hassle, what do you mean by that? Well, with all the transfer, is, is Ericsson going, is Fatongan going, and all, you know, all that, that all adds up, builds yeah. up. And the manager wasn't happy, and well, you could see the total today, totally different person mm. on that touchline. He was up, he was, he yeah. was shouting, he was moving people around, and, 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 but from the kickoff, everybody was 150%, they were closing people down, and, and it was just a much better performance. Have you actually said to yourself that you think that Christian Eriksen's actually leaving and do you think that we will get listen, the best out of him? Listen, he, he's gave, was he, five years. Um, this is his sixth season. If he leaves after the end of the season, he's gave us six seasons for 11 million quid. Well, I think we've had good value for that. Um, yeah. You know, so he's got a right to do that. Um, I don't think it will get to that. I think if he signs a pre-contract for somebody in, the, in, in January, I think he'll be sold or you go then yeah. uh, because you can't have a player you know look, the end of last season Christian you know he never had the best of the end of the seasons uh, because he thought he was leaving and he didn't want to look to me you know he didn't want to get injured but you know today I thought he was brilliant first half I thought the whole team were um, you know whatever happens to him good luck because he's gave us five or six years of, of great quality and uh, you know hopefully he will stay you know, I know the club's offered him another good contract but it, it looks to me, though, he wants to leave. Um, you know, he wants to go and play in a different country. I don't think it's about the money, though, is it? Well, it can't be, because if they've offered him a lot, a lot of money. Yeah. So it's obviously he wants to go and test himself in a different country. Yeah. What I will say to him is, he'll go to Spain, or if he wants to go to Real Madrid, he'll get six, eight games a season, which are really hard. The rest of them, he can have a, a little laze about, can't he? So uh, you want to test yourself, you play in the best league and this is the best league. Now, Graham, this is Mauricio Pochettino's sixth season in charge. Is it about time that Mauricio actually delivered Tottenham fans a trophy? Do you think that we should take the, uh, the League Cup or the FA Cup a little bit more seriously than we've done before? Listen, you know what I'm like. I think we should go for every cup. I think we should go for every trophy. Um, you know, and look at Man City. They won the treble last year. They went for every cup. But I yeah. think we have a squad this year to do that. Yeah. I think we have... A, like, you look at the bench today... Danny, um, ben very Dave. strong squad. Oh, unbelievable! The, the, the bench today with Dyer was still out there. Mm. Deli Ali never mm. got on. Uh, Mora came on late. Uh, ben Davis, you know, and Endon Belly, you know. Yeah. So we have a good squad now, and uh, you have to fight to get in the team, and that's what it should be. And uh, you know, I would think we'll have a very good squad that goes to uh, Colchester. Um, there's only another three rounds, and we're in the final, so it's a good cup to go for. Now let's talk about 17-year-old Troy Parrott. Obviously, yep. he's uh, taken, well, he, he's, he's storming, isn't he, on the under-21s. He's coming under-21s uh, for Republic yeah, of Ireland. Good, good player. Can you see him coming in for that game? Yeah, oh, definitely. Absolutely, definitely. I think he'll play up front with maybe Lucas Mora and, and, and Deli Ali if he's not back in the team now. I'd, me, personally, I'd put Deli Ali back in now. Yeah. I think he creates a lot for us, um, but I'm not the manager. I don't get paid a lot of money to, to make them decisions, <laughs> so I'm very lucky. Um, but for me, all I would say is I would like to play our best team every game. And if you play your best team, look at Liverpool today. They played the best team. They beat Newcastle, absolutely murdered them. Yeah. Uh, they won nil down and they still murdered them. So uh, you know, play your best team and then take your players off after you how you have to do it. Now, our Champions League campaign starts next week against Olympiacos Wednesday. Um, how do you see that one going? A win? Oh, it'll be a difficult game because Olympiacos are a very good side. Um, you know, to get in the Champions League stages, you have to be good. Um, yeah. But 
I think if we play like we did first half, I think the game will be over by half time. And that's the way we've got to approach every game. You know, you have to go and have a go at people. You know, today they got the ball and they didn't know what to do. There was three men around him. And that's the way you have to play. And that's the way Mauricio, when he first came here in the last two or three seasons, that's the way he did it. And, uh, you know, I think he's got that hunger again in him. Today, you can see Mauricio, he was hunger for everything. And I think uh, the boys now want to want to go on and push on. It's an interesting point because Mauricio Pochettino, that that we see and we and, and all the fans know, you see that he's a, you know someone in a very good mood all the yeah. time, someone very smiley. This season, we haven't really felt that, have we? No, no. I think, but you know, he's a very emotional person, I think. And uh, you know, having met him, he's a, a fantastic person. Um, but he, he takes everything to heart. You know, he, he, the club is him, and that's him. And, you mm. know, if that's something goes not right, he, he, he will show his feelings. So, uh, you know, but I think you saw him a bit today. He was a bit, you know, a bit more yeah. Mauricio Pochettino today. Yeah. So, uh, please God, keep it that way all season. Graham, thank you very much. Come Thanks on, you Spurs.